Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel for another Hot Toys figure unboxing and review. My name is Graham and today we're going to be reviewing the Shore Trooper Squad Leader from Star Wars Rogue One. Now I was really excited that Hot Toys was issuing another style of Shore Trooper because the original Shore Trooper came out before I was collecting so I didn't have a chance to get my hands on that one. And there's actually a lot of collectors out there that were not able to get their hands on it as well. I don't know what the reason was. Maybe it didn't sell really well or maybe there wasn't a lot of pre-orders so Hot Toys didn't make a lot. But once these guys did sell out, their prices were tripling, quadrupling. They were becoming grails and they were really, really hard to get. So thankfully, Hot Toys is not necessarily reissuing these because there are going to be some differences between this one the squad leader the grunt that's also out and the original that came out a while back now before we get going i want to invite you to smash that like button if you enjoy watching these reviews and subscribe to the channel be a part of the watch and finally ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way all right, let's take a look here at the art box that the figure comes in. It's going to be the traditional Star Wars style box. Very simplistic, but very effective, very clean. I, I do like how Star Wars does these. Could they add a little bit more? Sure. And that's kind of what they did with the wraparound at the bottom. But on the front, we do have an image of the figure itself. Very nicely done here. I, I it, it does the trick in my opinion. And then we do have that wrap around that's in brown and white with the Shore Trooper Squad Leader. This is going to be MMS 592. On the sides of the box, we do have a portrait of the Shore Trooper as well. And a difference between the Rogue One wraparounds and a typical Star Wars figure is that these are going to be more of an illustration, uh, either black and white, brown and white. And then normal Star Wars figures are actually just going to be full color and images of the figure itself. On the back of the box, we do have all the warnings and the creators listed, so you can read that at your leisure. This is going to be a slipcover style box, my favorite. And when we do take the cover off, we have a very nice image of the Shore Trooper. Great artwork right here. I love the action photo here with the Photoshop going on. We got a lot of debris and explosions flying through here and a gradient at the bottom. And uh, when we remove that, we get our first look at the figure itself. And I'm impressed. I can't wait to get him out, review him with you guys. But first, let's take a look at the base and the accessories that he comes with. And here we have the base itself, and it comes with more than we're used to seeing, actually. Um, we have the base itself here, we have the crotch grabber, an extra plate here, and then this sticker type artwork here on the side. So let's just start with the base itself. We have a normal kind of Star Wars, it's not really a great design, but you know, like a flooring design that we would typically see from Star Wars. We have the nice silver nameplate here that says Star Wars Shore Trooper Squad Leader. And the reason it says squad leader is because they did come out with two figures here. We have like the grunt and then this one is the squad leader. So there are some differences between the two. Um, the base itself is nice. Um, what you can do, it comes with this artwork here, which looks pretty cool, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's like a sticker material. So this just peels off and you can stick it right on here like so. It looks cool, but... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not into that. So I think I'll just leave it to the side for now. But hey, if you are into it, it does look pretty nice. It's a nice piece of artwork there. And then it comes with this extra piece, which is kind of confuzzling because it goes like this, and it just like gives you a little bit more. It adds a little bit more to the the base itself, I guess. But it doesn't snap into place. It just kind of it would sit just like so, and then the crotch grabber just would plug in like so as well. So. The base itself, I mean, I'm kind of confused as to why they gave us this type of base since this is a shore trooper. You know, shouldn't he be, you know, maybe this would make more sense to have like the sand base with the, the waves here and may, I guess the footprints. I don't like that, but they all have those footprints. But why wouldn't we have like more of a sandy base instead of like a, like a Death Star type of base here? So I'm not sure about that. Not really a big fan of this piece either. Kind of just seems like a waste. And I don't know, it just... 
it moves and it's loose and I don't know why would I use that not sure but um, this is the base itself so now let's go on to the accessories of the figure and here we have all the accessories that come with our squad leader I had to double check in the packaging to make sure I didn't miss anything but nope this is it it's slim pickings for sure he comes with two extra sets of hands on the figure right now we have the open resting hands and then we have trigger hands here and fisted hands and then the rifle that he comes with or the blaster let's take a look at the hands first and here we can see the gloved hands this is going to be the trigger finger and or the trigger hand if you will and it's got like this metal plate here on the uh on the back of the hand here really good weathering i like the yellow color it looks really cool but they, they really did a great job detailing just making this figure look like he's been through a bunch of battles and that his uh, armor definitely is not new. So pretty nice hands there. I'm really happy with how this blaster turned out. I've reviewed a few figures in the past, like um, the Black Widow figure comes to mind as well as maybe the um, War Machine figure where the accessories are all flat black and there's no scrapes or scratches or like defects in the in the weapons themselves and they look more like a toy this one hot toys definitely went all out and made sure that it was fully weathered fully looking like it was realistic and used look at all the scrapes and scratches here we got a little bit of red going on there like even in the handle they just did a little bit of a wash just to make this look like actual metal instead of a flat black I think this looks really, really nice, and I like it a lot. There are no moving parts on it, so it's just gonna be one solid piece, and then we do have the strap here. So very, very nice rifle. So even though he doesn't come with a whole lot, this is definitely, definitely a, a nice add-on here. All right, now let's get the figure out here and take a look. And here is our first look at the Shore Trooper Squad Leader. And I love how unique this guy's gonna look on the shelf. He's not just black, he's not just white. He's got this sand yellow to him, but then he's got this like sky blue and it just goes so well together. I love the design of this trooper itself. I think the helmet is super cool. I think Hot Toys did a superb job on this figure. So now let's zoom in and take a closer look at the details of the figure. And here we have a closer look at the squad leader himself. Look at all of that battle damage going on or that wear and tear. I love this yellow with the, uh, the blue. It just looks super, super cool. This trooper, outside of probably the scout trooper, is one of my favorite designs. I really like the helmet and this is a reason that I really wanted to get this one and make sure that I didn't miss out. Um, let's take a look here at the upper part of the figure. We have the helmet here nice reflective lens and yeah like I said the um, the helmet itself the design is just really cool really unique and just kind of it's like a cross between a scout trooper and a death trooper so I like that a lot but if we get closer here you can definitely see like dirt and and grime and then you know scratches and this is pretty much a flat black here but that's okay like even on the edges here just chips and scratches just super super cool going down to the midsection here we do have the straps which are going to be like a rubber material really nice wear and tear there um, the chest plate hot toys just really went out of their way to to make this thing look extra extra realistic and that's one of the things that i really like about hot toys is just the fact that you get these in hand and they look super super detailed and super super accurate you know they didn't have to go through all this trouble they could have you know, maybe giving you a few areas of wear and tear or scratches and whatnot, but like look at even on the edges here, just super, super cool. These I do believe are, these are not gonna be Velcro, these are gonna be through elastic straps. So hopefully those don't um, get loose over time. This is gonna be like a floating piece here on the arm. And then going to the belt, there's this, like a some sort of fabric material here. And the belt is gonna be all um, just plastic pieces on there. Let's flip them around here. I'm really happy that this is part of the belt itself. 
because for the scout trooper and the storm troopers, it just hooks in and it always falls off and it's super annoying when you're trying to pose the figure. So I'm really happy that they just molded this straight to the belt. And here we do have the back as well. Just super, super detailed, super cool and really unique or a unique figure. So there's gonna be some differences here in the figure as opposed to the original Shore Trooper. A lot of it's gonna be in the paint area and then in the belt area, I do believe. And then this guy also has like these, ugh, what would you call it? It's like a, a draping material on, the, on the, uh, the legs. And there are no wires here, but it does kind of naturally flare out, which is okay. And we have a nice fabric here on the, the pants as well. The nice thing about this figure is I think he's gonna be pretty poseable and there's nothing like pleather or anything like that that we have to worry about maintaining over time. Going to the boots, we have the split cut boot design, so extra posability is going to be there. And then you just have the shin guards, which again, just to the nine with battle damage and accuracy and, and detail. So those are really nice as well. Here we just flip them around. So now let's go into the articulation of the figure. Up in the head, he can look up that far and he can look down that far. It's just gonna be on a ball joint, so you know, he can twist pretty easily. Arms go out to about there. Double bend in the elbow. And forward pretty easily. So this just kinda shifts and moves around as needed so that you can get the posability. He has the normal wrist swivel here, which is kinda tight, so a little bit of flexibility in the abdomen. It doesn't go down too far, but he can definitely flex backwards a lot. Pants are loose enough that you can spread the legs out quite a bit. And not quite to a 90, but still pretty decent. And a double bend in the knee. And then we talked about it does have the um, split cut boot design for extra posability. No swivel in the thigh. And I can't, I honestly can't tell here in the arm because of all these moving pieces, I can't really grab the arm, but um, that is the articulation. Now let's get him into some poses and talk about some of the things that I like and dislike about the figure. All right, so now that we have this figure in some poses, let's talk about some of the things that I like and some of the things not so much. Starting with the things that I really like about the figure, the fact that Hot Toys even came out with this Shore Trooper again is pretty awesome, especially for those of us that missed out on the Rogue One Shore Trooper. Most of it's gonna be the same, except for some of the colors not matching and some of the belt area, or the, the, mid, the mid area is a little bit different on the two. So it's great for those of us that missed out on the first one, but also for those of you that have the old Shore Trooper, this one's different enough that I do think you could get both. The second thing that I really like is just the attention to detail that Hot Toys went through with this figure with the battle damage and the, the realisticness of the figure, the, the scrapes and the paint chips. They went to the nine, it looks great and super authentic. And the third thing that I really like is the detail on the blaster rifle itself. They didn't just make it a flat black, they gave it a nice wash, some paint chips, and just that extra detail that throws this figure over the top. Now for some things that I didn't like as much. The first would be the base. It's very plain Jane. They added some pieces that I don't think are necessary. It's like they're just, they knew the accessories weren't there, so they tried to give you some extra stuff for the base. I don't know too many people that are gonna like these extra pieces and this sticker. It's not for me. I wish they would have come out with a sand base just to make it look more realistic. He is, in fact, a shore trooper. And the next thing that I don't like as much about the figure is the amount of accessories that it comes with. I don't know, I would have hoped Hot Toys maybe could have gotten a little bit more creative and given us a couple more things, but it's definitely not going to be a deal breaker. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. This was a review on the Shore Trooper Squad Leader from Star Wars Rogue One. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure, if this is a figure that you're going to pick up or if you're going to pass on. Let me know if you have the original Shore Trooper and what your thoughts are if you're going to get this one or if that one's good enough for you. 
I really do think this figure itself has a lot of shelf presence. I love the color scheme of the uh, Trooper itself. I think it's going to look great in my collection. So I'm super happy to have it with the rest of my Star Wars figures. Love that Hot Toys went into so much detail in the armor and the uh, rifle itself. So very, very happy with it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to be coming out with a lot of fun videos in the future. I am due to have another six scale collection tour for you guys. So that'll be coming probably soon here. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.